Here we sit right in the middle. Snake River Plain to the north, strong thunderstorms. You can see all that lightning, especially up into Montana. These storms have the potential of producing wind gusts about 40 miles per hour and some small hill. And to our south, also some stormy weather over, over Oneida County into Casia County. I think most of that should stay to our south. And of course, most of this staying well to the north. If you want to, well, want some stormy weather, just travel that way or travel down yonder along I-15 just south of Pocatello. You'll probably encounter it. Uh, some stormy weather out there this evening. Heat advisory continues. No brainer there. It seems like this has been a regular thing every day until 9 this evening. So another hot one out there right now and into the evening hours. Temps will range anywhere from mid to upper 90. So yeah, warmer than usual for this time of year for sure. Partly cloudy tonight. A little bit of a blanket over the top of us. Now last night, we managed to stay in the 70s in Pocatello. That won't be the case tonight. Still warmer than usual. 65 will be the low in the Gate City. Otto Falls will still be in the 50s, although last night it was pretty close to 60. We're looking at 55 for low tonight. Now for the central mountains, isolated showers and thunderstorms, mainly this evening. Low temperatures, mid 40s into the upper 50s. Mackey, you're at 58. Good company though, Arco. You're also going to see a low temperature of 58 as well. We got 56 for low in Dubois, awfully stormy along the Idaho-Montana border. I think that's where most of it will stay, but some of it could trickle into Yellowstone and then maybe even as far south as Jackson. So keeping a watchful eye on that, especially this evening. 49 will be the low in Afton, Yellowstone in the mid-40s. We got a partly cloudy sky over the southeast corner, and with the exception of those storms over Malad City, we could see them break across Franklin County into southern Bear Lake County, so keeping a watch watchful eye on that, but for most of us, more clouds than anything. Low temperatures will range from the uh, upper 50s to the mid 60s. Malad City at 64. Then tomorrow, hey, Thursday, just a couple days shy of the weekend, right? Partly sunny, high temperature in the 90s and uh, down, in fact, will all be in the 90s, including Montpelier. One exception, though, Soda Springs will hit 87. And it looks like for the upper highlands in western Wyoming, we'll keep that sunshine going. I think less storm activity out there. Central mountains, not nearly as stormy as it was today. Still quite warm. A lot of us in the 90s, and we're still in the 90s in the Snake River Plain with lots of sunshine. Southeast Idaho, Chevy dealer seven-day forecast. A bit on the windy side tomorrow, especially in the afternoon. What's new there? And we're in for a hot weekend, but notice how we got some changes next Tuesday and Wednesday. We could see some showers and thunderstorms, and not quite so hot. I don't fall. Same thing. Highs in the 80s. Wow, Tuesday, and it seems so far away, doesn't it? Well, well, enjoy the heat this weekend. Another hot one that we have to endure, if you will. Make sure you drink lots of water and stay in the shade. Teton area, maybe as early as Thursday, we could see some stormy weather. And then for the Central Mountains, we are dry. We are hot through the weekend. Not quite so hot, though, starting Monday.